Hey everybody, what's going on? It's be big one gaming here. Welcome back to episode number 18 of our Ball State Dynasty. We get Jacksonville State uh, this time. So, so far we're one and two. A couple close games, at least at the beginning against Oregon. Only was Auburn by eight and then beating UConn only by five. And we were a big in that too with our defense forcing a ton of interceptions. Hopefully we can do the same against Jacksonville State. Um, but just before we get into it, uh, if you guys do want a player in this dynasty, write a comment down below and we'll get you added. Uh, it'll show up on the screen here. Uh, just name of the player you want and the name of the person you want to take over. So far, we only have two. It is the corner, a corner and an athlete. More than likely, it's going to be a wide receiver with 6'2", 220. Um, so and we're about to have a bunch more commits um, to go. So... Um, I think right now, do we have anyone visited this week? It's week four, which I believe is this week. This is a big week here for recruiting. So we need a win because, A, we have four people coming into uh, here. So we desperately need the win because we're a same-tier opponent, so hopefully we can get it. And uh, go from there. So, so if we can get a good win, let's get it going. Jacksonville State, week four, year number two. All right, so here we go. We're starting on defense. Let's see if the defense continues what they did last week, especially forcing four interceptions. And they are starting off with a run, and it's a solid run. We also got a lot more people in the stands here, which is nice. Very, very nice. But a solid gain on first down. Let's see what we can do here on first down and 10. He's got to throw it long, and it's almost picked. He had all day to throw and just took the deep route, which I don't know if that was the right move, to be honest with you. Second down and 10 now after the deep incompletion. Now it's a run left side, and he breaks a tackle and breaks another and gains a first down against 15. Not what you like to see early on here from the defense. They're struggling to start. Almost had a pick, though. So can't be too mad at that, but first down and 10 for the 47 yard line. The running game has been what's killing us so far. It's an RPO to the running back, and this time we take him down after a loss of a yard. Blair with a nice little tackle. So second down 11. They're switching the play. They're also being no huddle. It's a jet touch pass. I thought we had we have it pretty well covered up. He only gets four, so it's now third down. This is a weird like little formation, but... He's going to take off. He breaks a tackle, too, and gets the first down. I don't know how in the world he breaks that tackle. I'll be dead honest. But he does. Heisman difficulty for you. First down and 10 from the 36. What in the world? Why are we switching it? What in the world is happening? Why are we switching everybody on the line? Runs up the middle, gains four yards. They've been killing us on the ground. So that's why we're sending a bunch of blitzes here. we got to find something to stop their run offense. Only two minutes down here in the first quarter. It's mostly been all Jacksonville State. I was going to say, don't tell me he's going to get up on this. Third down and seven. We've been stuck in this 3-3-5 this whole time. Third and seven. Time to get off the field. And he's caught the ball. It's a first down. That's four first downs on the drive. I'm about ready to call a timeout just to get better defense on here because 3-3-5 three, three, needs to be just gone. We just stood still, and it's a play-action pass. He's throwing long, and it's caught for a touchdown. I thought we had him at least covered up, and we almost picked it again, but threw some two uh, dangerous footballs, but they find six. 10 plays, 81 yards, and two minutes. So now it's our turn to do something. RJ going to return from his goal line. 
And I thought we were going to have more, but he only gets the 15. So, time to do something for us. Let me go ahead and get this. Hopefully this run game gets going. This game as I have the hiccups. Run left side, trying to find the right hole, and it was covered up pretty quickly. The second down and 12, after going nowhere on that first play. Going to have to take off here. We get the block, and Kelly's got the first down. I mean, we had to take off immediately. There's just barely anyone open. We had B, but I'm just going to try to throw on the run. Another run left side, and again, just nowhere to go. Looks like running to the left is not going to work out for us. Second down and 10 from the 27. Throw left side, almost picked. That was a dangerous ball. So now it's third down and 10. Kozio's caught it, but he's going to be nowhere close. Kelly just didn't even try to do like any step back. He just caught it and throw. He's going to punt away. Almost got hit, but if they would have dove for him. But we have to punt, and unfortunately, not a great start for our offense, not a great start for our defense. And again, we're back in the 3 3 5 because I wasn't paying attention. First down 10 from the 30, and it's going to be a handoff up the middle. Breaks a tackle. There's been so many broken tackles in this game already for him. Oh, second down and three. Already flipping the play already. Second down from the 37. This time it's a run left side. Again, broken tackles. I don't think they're going to give them. It's third down and inches. So, third and inches. Why are we flipping the play when we're, they're about to snap the football? It's a jet touch pass. And we just... Don't even want to tackle him. Well, this is going to be uh, how this game is going to go, huh? First down and 10 from the 47-yard line. They're not even throwing the ball. They're just, pad they're just running it almost the whole time. Now they pass on, a, on an RPO again and gains four yards. Got to find a way to get off this field. They have just tired our defense out. So run left side, and this time we hit him in the backfield. He's going to lose five. And now finally we can be out of it. It'll be a nickel. Now they kind of go a little bit of a hurry up here. Third down, 11. Looking towards the sideline. Third down. It's a screen. And we overran the screen. And we hit him, but he's going to be short. It's fourth down and one. That's going to force a punt. So that is huge. That is absolutely huge. We force a stop for the first time in this game, and the defense at least shows up a little bit. As soon as we got out of, you know, out of that 3-3-5, we actually made a decent stop. Granted, we almost gave up the first down, but we'll run right side this time. It's a lot better result. We gain four. We have yet to touch the opponent's side of the field. X is wide open. We got Munson wide open, and Munson's got to have a big gain all the way to the 42-yard line. And we're kind of getting blitz again, but Kelly escapes just enough. Now we'll do our own jet touch pass. We get the blocks. Robinson with a nice spin move gets the 29-yard line in the first time. We're in field where we are in the opponent's territory in this game. First down 10 from the 29 yard line. We'll go ahead and hit Kozio and line up just in case if we have to kick a field goal. So Bishop and Spiegel in the backfield, second down and four. Go ahead and motion, we're gonna run up the gut and Bishop somehow finds a way through there and gets to the nine. I don't know what happened there, but we're not going to talk about it. It's a gain of 14. First and goal. That run up the gut, break a tackle, and get nothing. It's now second down and goal. 
from the nine. And a throw to Robinson, caught, but it's down at the one. And we get out of bounds. So third down and goal from the one. Gonna run it with 15 seconds left and we find the end zone. Spiegel, five attempts, three yards, and a touchdown. So we tie the game, 7-7. So after both teams punt, back-to-back -back times, we get a touchdown. So both teams end up with a punt and a touchdown the first quarter. And it is still the first quarter, and there he goes. I shouldn't have said anything. First time we're going to allow a punt or a kick return for a touchdown. And we're back on offense. That is uh, unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Not, not what I want to do. Not what I want to do at all. RJ is going to return from his one. Hopefully he can do the same thing. Maybe. He actually got a couple broken tackles. Gets to the 31-yard line, so good return. But not as good as Jacksonville State's. So they have a little bit of a lead. Let's see what we can do here on first down and 10 from the 31 yard line. And nowhere to go. Gain about of a yard. Again, we're just, just like last week, the running game is just non existent tonight. I try to throw it underneath, but again, the offensive line is just giving us no time to throw this football. It's incomplete. It's third down and nine. Throws right side. Robinson caught and goes down immediately. The curl route works. Although the corner was right there too. Right around left side behind of our left guard. And this time we gain a bunch. We gain eight. Longest run of the day. So second down and two from the 50. And we're going to take off with Kelly and get hit. I wanted to go down, but... Does get hit hard. It's not what I want, especially with the wear and tear. First down. Oh, I want to run left, but we got sucked into that animation. No pause. Second down and seven from the 37. Let's see if the jet touch pass works this time. And it does. Claiborne with a nice little gain of seven. He's not going to have the first, though. So third and inches, run up the gut, and first down. We just wanted the first down. I wasn't going to try for anything else. First 10. Got to find a way. And Magwood, I thought our running back was going to go out and get the block. He doesn't. But Magwood gets the, his first catch of the game. Second down and four. My left, my left guard is just doing absolutely nothing. Do you see that? Like, let's let's replay that. What are you doing? This is supposed to be a power. This is supposed to be a power, and 77 just. Uh, I'm just. I don't know. I'm gonna stand here. I don't know what he's doing. So we if we ran the left side because there's a huge hole in the left side, and our offensive line just doesn't block. So. I don't know. So third and two, we're going to switch this to the other side. And we are not going to get anywhere close. We're going to lose a yard. And that means we'll have to kick a field goal in the rain. With 13 mile per hour wins. Kick is up and it is no good. All right. I suck. It's fine. I can already tell how this game was going to go. To run right side, and this time he gains five, and now they're going to go no huddle again because the game hates me and just wants me to play teams that always go no huddle, apparently. 
Second down and five. The situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. 14 to seven lead for Jacksonville State. We do get ball to start the second half. Kind of a weird little play there. And of course, the broken tackles are just ridiculous at this point. Apparently, we got to work on tackling in the offseason. First down and 10. It's a throw, and it's right side is picked. And we're going to get a pick six off it. What in the world what he's, was he throwing to? I mean, we're not going to complain. But Showhorst has another interception to his name on the season. Honestly, I have no clue who he was throwing that to. But, I mean, we'll take it. So the defense shows up a little bit. Get another interception on the night. Hopefully here. So first down and 10 from the 21. We even sent a blitz, and the man coverage worked out to perfection. Running up the middle, and we finally hit him after a gain of four. Boise State is currently losing. Second down six, and they're ranked. Michigan defeats Wisconsin there in the bottom of the Big Ten. What's well, a fake jet touch pass, and it's going to be nice tackle there because he had room to run. Third down and four. Got to get a stop here on third down. Let's see if we can do it. Third and four. Making some changes at the line. And he's going to throw it. It's going to be hit as he throws, too. He's just going to throw it away. So that makes it fourth down. The defense forces another punt for the second time today. So, I mean, hey, other than that one big play, we have to fair catch this. Um, and again, they threw some very dangerous footballs on their first drive. And somehow went away with, uh, oh, I'm happy. I'm happy I got his I threw because I definitely clicked the wrong button. So that was going to be intercepted. Let's take it on 10. Oh, wow. What a, what a move by Spiegel. I don't know what he did there, but we gain eight. On the jet on the screen, it's now third down and two. Throw it quick and it's incomplete. Trying to hit Kozio, we tried to go down immediately, but it does not work. So we're gonna have to punt again for the second time today. And that's a decent punt to the 22. So unfortunately, we couldn't take advantage of the punt. Offense has kind of struggled today because we can't run the ball. But Jacksonville State can definitely run this football. They gain eight there. But every time we try to, every time we send a blitz so far, it's been working. Let's try to send it here on second down and two. We're about to hit the two-minute timeout. Send the blitz, and he's short. It's third down and inches. We're going to press up everybody on third down and inches. They snap it before the timeout, and he's got space, and there he goes. Blair can't make the tackle, and it's a touchdown. I hate it here. We set the blitz. They run on the outside. They run towards the blitz, and it's now 21-14. Not great. Off it. We got to do something on offense. Two minutes to go. We have all three of our timeouts to get at least in the field goal range. Again, we start. What in the world is happening? Again, we do start with ball in the second half. So we don't want to blow it and give them an extra possession. We got to score here. We hit Robinson, who gets a block, or Magwood, I'm sorry, that's Magwood. Gain six. Second down and four. We might have a man deep. Gets Claiborne, what a play, all the way down the 20. 
We'll take that all day. They just didn't even cover him. First down and 10 from the 20-yard line. Throws it right side. Kozio's got it this time and finds the end zone. What a quick drive. And we'll tie the game up. 14 or 21 all. We just would have made that field goal from earlier. We would have a lead right now. But missing that field goal has been huge. Honestly, I also thought that we did not get it to the wide receiver there on that deep route. Can we tackle him, please? Thank you. I was scared again thinking he was going to do stuff. So anyways, I think they're going to start throwing the football here because normally even running teams under the two-minute timeout, they start throwing the ball. Oh, that's a quick throw. It's a slant route. And he's wide open. Timeout, Jacksonville State. I mean, we've made some stops. I mean, only two touchdown drives so far, but and it's been two big plays that's been getting them there. On the left side, oh my, he just makes a guy miss, but he's not going to get much. He only gains four. They're going to go no huddle out of it. Second down, six, minute and three to go. We're there. We're there, and it's incomplete. Third down. We get the incomplete pass. So third down and six. Let's see if we can get off the field here and maybe have a chance to get back to our offense. And we will. Fourth down. Only gains four. So offense has a shot at putting up at least getting into field goal range. It's going to be kicked so far to the left. It's actually going to bounce, and it's going to be out at the goal line. Thank goodness. I was scared. So first and 10 from the 20. Start with a screen, and we barely get rid of it. And Spiegel's got space all the way up to the 40 and gets out of bounds. Almost probably been a late hit there. But now down to the 40. We have a shot. Magwood does have the advantage here. We're going to send him on a streak. I see if he comes down. He does not. That is right to him. Who are, what is that? Where are you throwing it to? What am I doing? I'm asking myself. I'm not even asking that. I mean, it's a terrible throw and a terrible decision. So, unfortunately, he's in bounds. Didn't get out of bounds, so they take a timeout. So, again, some major mistakes in this game, both mentally. Oh, well, I was almost picked. Yeah, that's their final timeout. They do have a shot. What in the world is this formation? Is this a screen pass or a bubble? Pass it, I dare you. We're going to get a sack. That is huge. He had nowhere to go with the football. So on second down and 24, everybody back. Just everybody back. We're not getting beat. Someone actually did get beat too. Third down and 24. Everybody back. Just don't get a per don't don't get a pass interference call here as well. We had that one earlier, especially in our zero overall. If you guys missed that. It was dumb. And it's actually picked by Davis. Unfortunately, we can't move up, but hey. Second interception of the game. I mean, yeah, it was on a on a on a Hail Mary. But, you know. So tied at 21 going into half. Definitely not what we wanted. We've had some opportunities. But we haven't done well with them. RJ is going to get a decent return to the 21. Not great, though. Passing wise, we've been decent. Had some man open. Made some bad decisions as well. A run, and we all got instantly hit in the backfield, but gained three somehow still. We'll take it. Second down and six. Or second down and seven, excuse me. Second down and seven. Yeah, we might have had RB if we just would have waited for a second. 
Probably should have waited for a second. Now third down and seven. We had X wide open too. What am I doing? I'm just, I'm getting scared at this point. I'm just not even looking at the coverage. I'm just trying to immediately run away and I shouldn't. Unfortunate, but hey, third er, defense needs to step up again. So both teams have had a uh, a non-offensive touchdown. We've had a pick six. Jacksonville State has got a uh, has got a defensive or a special teams touchdown in this uh, game so far. So twenty-one all. It's a pass, a quick throw. And luckily, BB was there. We'd take him down. It is third down and three. Can we get off the field? He goes backwards, and Snyder's there, and he does. Does get the stop. I don't know why he went backwards. We're not going to complain. This has been a really weird game. I don't know how I feel about it. This is the weirdest game of all time, in my opinion. We have to fair catch this one. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. So, first down 10 from the 19-yard line. Can we get our offense going? Can we get the run game going? We get four. So, no. We really have not done anything on offense running the football. Other than that one weird run from Bishop. Throwing it to Claiborne. He's got it. First down. On the run, they sent a blitz, so we had to get rid of it quickly. First down and 10 from the 32 yard line. Oh, we had no time to let the routes develop. No time at all, second down and 16 now. And dude, uh, that defensive lineman is just instantly destroying us. Prater is just destroying our offensive line. It's third down and 18. Spiegel has not found anything tonight. Third and long. And we, as we throw it, it's incomplete. We might have had our little route there to get there, but another punt. Decide to punt away. It was fourth down and 18. No, no doubt we're punting. So still 21 all. Both offenses really haven't done anything here in the third quarter. Oh, first time to run the read option. And he got a major gain. That's not what we want to see. That's the first time they've been running that, or first time they ran that read option. So didn't know that was in their playbook. Now they throw off it. And he's got a man wide open and two plays. They find the first touchdown in the third quarter. Back on our offense to do something. But man, offense has just been going through mud, not getting anything going. This is not what you want when you're going into Mac play. Bayless will have a chance to return from his one. And just nowhere to go to the 19. We might as well just fair catch at this point. Like, I want to run the football. I really do. But with how bad our offense has been in this game, granted some of that is my fault, but like right now, nobody is open. No one's getting off their blocks, and we have to take a sack. This is when you know the game just doesn't want you to win. Second down and 14. This time we'll take off, try to make a man miss, and we get six or eight. So second down or third down and six. Gotta find a way. Get to Claiborne. It's short. It's short. We're gonna have to punt again. We might. Nope. They don't dive, and we don't get hit, so we don't get the free 15. So it's to the 29. I just, man, I have been terrible on offense in this game. Defense has done their job, only forcing three touchdown drives. And it's been all big plays, too. That's a loss of a yard. 
So second down 11, kind of a weird formation here. I don't know, I think there's gonna be a run. It is a run. We had people there and he gets more yards. He gains eight, so third down and three. So third down and three. It's a wide receiver screen and we're there and again, the defense forces a stop. Can we find a way to put one in the end zone? It's also not great that we're always starting at our own 20 yard line every time or even before that. Uh, again, we're starting at our own 26 yard line. We gotta get this off, we gotta get this run game going. We'll leave some pressure off this pass rush. And again, just, I don't know what happened there. We're trying to run on the outside and we just can't find anything. We have 58 yards on the ground and we're usually a running football team. Second down, this time we get room and this time we get a big gain. All the way to 40. First and 10 from the 40. Can we get, dude, I just want to run forward. I just want to run forward and my offensive lineman is just in my way. You see all this movement in football now. All the stem and the defensive line. I just, right game just does not want me to win this game. Second down 13 after losing three. We're just run with Spiegel and get those yards back. It's third down 11. Continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running We find a way to get someone open here on third down and 11. Nope. We, I mean, we might have had someone late, but offensive line is just god awful in this game. We're gonna have to punt again, and this is not a great punt. I don't know what we're supposed to do in this game. So first down, ten from the thirty-one. We gotta find defense. Gotta find a way to make another one. And they're not going to. A big play, and they get to the 38-yard line. I'm at a loss for words at this point. I'm at a loss for words. Goes it left side to a wide open man. And we just apparently dive right by him. But we get lucky because he goes out of bounds. Second down five. Can we find a way to do something? We need a pick six or something. We need a pick to give us some life. We might have had it if Norwood would have uh, went for the ball. First down 10 from the 27. We're about to be down two scores for the first time today. It's a play action. He's sacked. That is huge. Sent the blitz, Smith gets the sack. And that forces them to change the, up their uh, their formation here. Second down and 19, he's gonna run up the gut and he's still gonna gain six yards. 14 carries over 100 yards. Third down and 13. He might get sacked again, he dies. Great job by this defense. This is a very long field goal. Hopefully we can just erase this third quarter out of our minds. This is up and it is going to be good. What a kick. That's 47 yards. Now we gotta do something. Something other than punt. RJ's trying to give us a little bit of boost, but with one second left, we got one shot before this quarter breaks. Well, lob it up, just lob it up for somebody. Magwood's got it, and finally, finally, on the last play of the quarter, we get the touchdown, and my goodness, that's a weight off our shoulders. We make this a three-point ball game. Where was this? Was I just missing him the whole time? Because 
I think that's his first touchdown of the season as well. Four games in. One play, 79 yards. And now we'll go in the fourth quarter, only down three. We have seven third down stops. There's been a lot of punts in this game. Again, one of the weirder games that I have seen. Trying to punch the ball out, but he gets to the 16, so nothing too high there for him. So it's first down 10 from the 16 yard line. Another option and broken. I don't know how he just broke two tackles. Granted, they are corners, but still. This is going to be a pass. They passed off this the last time. Ooh, Sconehorst almost got the, the pass deflection. I should have went. I thought they normally run the football. Now I think they run the football. Oh, my goodness. Just broken tackles upon broken tackles. He gains four. So now they're out of the gun. We're out of a two-back set here in the backfield. Goes a man in motion. It's going to be another run. And this time he goes nowhere. Gains only a yard. Again, they're going with this weird formation. Has a man, but he came back for the ball, and he steps out of bounds. So, again, it's going to be a fourth down and one, and now our offense can go down and take the lead. I was hoping my guy would block him, but he doesn't. Anywho, they are pressing up on the line because they know that we have not run the ball well. But this time, we get a good run from Spiegel, and he gains 10 for the first down. Finally doing something on the run game. Let's see if we can continue it. Just need to get into field goal range to tie this game up, and our left guard just doesn't block anybody. I'm pretty sure our left guard is our best player. So I don't know what's happening. Oh, we had RB. I saw him at the last second. I saw him at the last second get open. I was like, hold on a second. We might have a man open. How in the world is this guy faster than our quarterback? Joseph just inst was faster than our quarterback trying to run to the outside, and we're going to have to punt. Not what we wanted to do, and again, just the we're struggling on offense. We're trying to hit the big plays, and we need to start just focusing little by little. It's been one of our tougher games because this is a winnable game. Very, very winnable game. It's another run to the left side, and he just gets a little speed boost. And get, they have had. I want to see how many running like broken tackles this halfback has, because it it has to be a record at this point. There has been no way this guy has broken like 15 tackles this game. No one almost picked it. And that could have been a pick six. and would have changed this game. Third down and four. Trips left. It's going to be a pass. They throw it right to us and we drop the football. I, I, I wanted to pick that so bad. It was right to me. Fourth down and four, so that's another punt. This defense has been insane today. I'm going to let this one bounce to the nine and go into the end zone just to give us to the 20. So they have five sacks. We have three, but we have a couple of big pass deflections in this game. Just no one can block on along the left side. We have 2.8 yards per carry with Spiegel. And that just goes off. Okay. What is happening in this game? It's been the weirdest game I've ever played. 
just try to get your hands in the air, get a deflection. That's a bad ball, and it's incomplete. And then again, we're going to have to go fourth down again. Completion fourth and long now on your own side of the field. You're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the match? That's a fair catch again. So defense, I mean, both defenses have played out of their minds today. I'll be dead honest. Both defenses deserve everything, every single thing in the book today. And that's in, that's going to be a loss of three. Defensive line got the insta block shed for the first time for us. We never get those. Second down 13, 336. I'm surprised they're still going with the no huddle. It's a draw play and another more more broken tackles. I swear to you, this guy has like 25 broken tackles. Is he the best running back ever of all time? I'm stuck on the D-line. Oh my god, we picked it. Baldwin, go. Baldwin, go. Please, please. Baldwin, Baldwin, down the sideline. He's going to get in the end zone. We take the lead. The defense has been insane. Like I've said, this whole game. That's the second pick six of the night. Oh my goodness, our third pick of the night. Second pick six. What is happening in this game? I don't understand. They gotta go 85 yards to take the lead back. 35-31. Like I said, this game has been weird. First and 10. Got a man in the backfield. Throws left side. Someone I thought was supposed to be over there. He only gains five, so now the no huddle kind of makes sense here. Second down and five. Under three now to go. Running up the middle. Absolutely nowhere. Who is that? Looter had a great play there. Another throw, and it's thrown right side and somehow hung on, even though Norwood was right there. Again, I don't want to be in this 3-3-5, but normally they run after that. So first and 10. They're both their halfbacks are tired. 2.22 to go. Both teams have all three timeouts. It's play action. Throws it backwards, and Schohorst, who has been one of our better safeties, has been insane this game with another tackle for a loss. Second down 11. This time it's a run up the middle, and he goes nowhere. Gets two two-minute timeout now, and finally we get out of that 3-3-5. Three, three, this is big. Two plays, and this game is over. Third down and nine. Man, they do have all three of their timeouts, so it's not over, over just yet. Throws underneath. Norwood is there, and it's fourth down. And like I knew... They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. And we went for the ball. There's no flag. And it's incomplete. The defense with another stop. And now all we need is a field goal to make this a seven-point game to force them. Oh, my goodness. Spiegel almost had a touchdown. Timeout on the field. We still have two more. 35-31. We're going to run right side, and Spiegel's got the first down. Game's not over yet, though. Yes, we got a first down, but this clock still has 96 seconds left on the clock. They have one more timeout. I feel like we need one more first down. Spiegel up the gut and gains six. So second down and four from the six-yard line. Run left side. Magwood's got the touchdown. Had a little bit of a weird speed boost. But it looks like we're going to escape with a win. One of the worst offensive performances we've had all season. But yet, we have put up 42 points. Yes, two of those have been from the defense. A lot of punts in this game by both sides. What a, I just went around everybody. So, I mean, yes, they have five sacks, but we have missed a lot of players in this game. 
sacked a bunch of times. But all in all, they're going to take the dump off, which is just fine by me. It's going to waste a bunch of time. He is in bounds. That will stop the clock for just a second with him getting the first down. But now the clock is moving. A minute 15 to go. 42-31 lead for Ball State. Here over Jacksonville State. Going right side, and he is going to be stopped before a first down, so the clock is going to be ticking. And now under a minute to go before they even get the snap off. Second down and one. 50 seconds to go. He's looking for an open man on second down. He's going to throw it incomplete. Incomplete third down. So that does stop the clock for him. And gets us in a little bit of a different formation. So third down and one. Making some changes at the line. Throws it tipped incomplete. Almost should have been picked. So fourth down and one. One more stop and this game is officially over. It's gonna be run up the gut and he's got space and a first down. So they get the first, but that will start running once that ball is spotted. They're gonna go ahead and probably spike it. They do with 35 minutes to go, or 35 seconds to go. 35 minutes would be insane. So second down 10, the 49 yard line. Has somewhat open, and that's going to get him out of bounds. So 30 seconds to go, and he's definitely in. So first down and 10th from the 34. Still an 11-point game, so I do got to go for two. He's going to take the dump off, and he gets out of bounds. Another broken tackle. I want to see how many that guy has at the end of this game. I swear it's over 20. Throws it left side. Baldwin gets his second of the game. The fourth of the game for our defense. And that ends it. The defense had an insane game. Now, granted, the tackling could be way better. But a fourth quarter shutout is what reason why we won this game. They also had two pick sixes that kept us in this game. Khalil Kelly is the player of the game. I mean, I guess. 287 yards, three touchdowns, only 63% completion percentage. Not the greatest. Not the greatest, but he, you know, did his job. Looking at the stats, Khalil Kelly, 17 for 27, 287, three touchdowns, one interception. That one interception is my fault, is what it is. Uh, Spiegel, 23 for 73 and a touchdown, four broken tackles. Let me just look at this guy. He had 10. I swear he had more. But then again, Turner had four, Savage had three, and Petaway had two. So, all in all, there's that. Uh, Kelly, nine for 17, and Bishop, two for 15. Uh, Receiving-wise, Magwood, four for 97 and two touchdowns. Claiborne had four for 72. Robinson, three for 32. Koziel, three for 30 with a tutty. Spiegel, two for 28, and Munson, one for 28. Uh, blocking, we're not, we don't normally talk about. Defense, though, we had three guys over 10-plus tackles. Uh, Schno uh, I'm going to call him Blair. Blair with 10. Uh, Davis had 11. Snyder had 12. We had a bunch of tackles for a loss. Uh, we had th three sacks. One, two. Yeah, three. I think that's three. I can't do math. Yeah, that's three. We had four interceptions. Baldwin had two. Davis had one. And uh, Blair had one. We had four pass deflections on the night. No fumbles or anything like that. No safeties. But we did have the two touchdowns by Blair and Baldwin, which was huge. Absolutely huge. Um, that also shows out for those uh, for those commits. So, you know, we'll take it. We also level up to level 12, which is very, very nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and advance the week, see if we do get those commits. And again, if you guys do want to play, just write a comment down below. We'll get you added in, or I'll get you added in and everything. Um, Aguilar is committed. Uh, Scacy is committed. Potts is committed. I'm pretty sure that's all four guys that were actually had five commit today, which is insane. We had five commits, all three stars, and we go up to a two and two on the season. Blair gets a Mac Defensive Player of the Week. We love to see it. Um, 
But yeah, again, looking at this now, we have a bunch of guys committed. Um, I guess we didn't get get one. He was close, but he's not committed just yet. Um, but yeah, all in all, lost a couple guys, but all in all, uh, that's a great win. So, I, oh yeah, I need to show uh, all the stuff here because I forgot that. So, other than those two, we get another athlete. This guy looks like maybe a D-line or something like that. Uh, a good old middle linebacker, another corner, a left tackle, and a defensive tackle all commit. So, if you guys do want these players, write a comment down below. We'll get you added in, um, whoever you want to take over, and then your name uh, there. So, all in all, great uh, episode. Uh, so, if you guys did enjoy, hit that like button down below. It's free. really helps out the channel. And uh, if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 500. And if we do hit 500 by the end of the year, I'll do a 24-hour stream here on YouTube. Probably during the winter break for school-wise. I'm in college, so there's like a week break that I have in January, I think. No, maybe before that. I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just here so I won't get fined. Anyways, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.